All right, we are out again this morning um, after you last saw us camping out and we were trying to find some milk snakes. So hopefully we get lucky, we're gonna get flipping. All right, flip this little piece of wood. First snake of the day is this little red-bellied snake. That's a good sign, um, especially considering the midsummer heat that snakes are up under cover. These guys are pretty. Check that out. This one's kind of got like a coppery colored belly. Nice little snake. I'm gonna put his cover back how it was. And then uh, put the snake back under. I'll figure it out. Sweet. Flipped a board. Got the next snake of the day, which is a ringneck snake. Let's take a look at this guy real quick. He's spazzing out. All right, it's a pretty dull looking one. Kind of grayish or whitish collar. Almost looks anery or anery, but it's not. Um, I'm just gonna put this guy back under his board. All right, next snake of the day is this nice ringneck snake. Very vibrant looking one. Nice kind of orangey neck with a good black outline on it. Good looking snake for sure. Under a piece of tin, we found it um, at the very bottom of a tin stack. Definitely a nice looking snake, I'm gonna let it go. So, uh... We may have, I won't say that it hasn't happened, I was about to say almost, but I don't want to jinx it. We may have had a repeat offense of bees in the car. I basically walked through like these rotten logs, kicked up some sort of bees nest, they looked huge. I ran, jumped in the car, sped down the road, and then there's some junk right here we got out to flip. We're like 200 yards away. I thought no chance they followed us here and I'm flipping this stuff and something, a couple things whiz by me and then Teddy says there's something in the car, I look up towards the car and there's these huge bees all over the undercarriage like trying to get in and the, our doors are open, our windows are open we roll them up, slam them and they chase us for like another hundred yards this time on foot, we're running, I don't have a camera Dude, it was farther. I ran like yeah, no, that 400. Was... <laughs> I was, they were hitting me in the face. Bro. Yeah, no, they like these suckers are mean and they were on to us. But somehow we dodged them. We waited and watched the car for a long time as they like peppered the glass. And after about 15, 20 minutes, it seems like they settled down. I don't think they're gone yet, but. It's a yellow jacket, so I feel like they may. Yeah, that's a good call. None in there. All right, we're going to let you guys know what happens. All right guys, so today I'm out in the mountains. Yesterday the coastal plain was not very forgiving. So I'm meeting up with some friends today and we're just gonna have a nice, hopefully relaxing time hiking up some snakes. It was supposed to rain today, but the cloud cover looks like it's gonna hold up for most of the day. Temperatures are pretty cool. Um, and I'm hoping we're successful, so I'll let you know what we find. All right, so uh, first snake of the day here, we got a red-bellied snake. Nice looking one. It's pretty cold this morning, so He's pretty chilly. He's balling up nicely, but pretty neat. I'm sure we might see more of these today, especially if we keep flipping rocks. Snake of the day we just flipped is this racer. Probably just gonna leave this guy alone, as is, but uh, he's just warming up under a piece of tin. Pretty cool. <laughs> no. We're gonna try to feed him. <laughs> I came right out of there. Yeah, that's neat. Nice. Dude. Kind of a pretty one. Nice dark colors. Sweet. Snake of the day, Matt flipped under a rock. Um, pretty cool milk. Uh, oh, he's biting me. He's trying to. Ouch. Yeah, so uh, 
not a phenomenal milk snake by any means, but it's got a cool kind of like, it's almost anery looking. It's kind of neat. Um, definitely, you know, just kind of like a dark brown milk, but lots of blacks on it and uh, very, very little color, which is kind of cool in its own way. So uh, appreciate it. We're gonna let this guy go in a second. There's a better look at this thing before letting him go. Not a terrible looking snake. I'm gonna let this guy go back in his rock though. See ya, buddy. All right, next snake of the day is a uh, nice little ringneck snake. Yeah, but nice little ringneck snake. We just flipped under a rock here. Um, common snake, we've been seeing a lot of these, so I'll just let him go right here. And he'll find his way down a leaf litter. What you find here in some dry, rocky habitat is this four-toed salamander. It's actually the second we have seen today. He will not stop moving, but that's two of these now. Ooh, got him. Super, super strange. Got their signature white bellies. Let's see if I can show you guys. I'm gonna let him go before uh, he ends up losing a tail or something. So he won't stay still. And uh, find his way there. Cool. We have a racer on the crawl right here. Pretty neat. That's all right. right. So flipping wasn't that good, and we've transitioned to hiking some talus rock slides. Um, hoping to see some snakes basking. It's still pretty gloomy out, so we expect things to be out undercover, or out from undercover rather than hiding away. Um, man, check this out. Pretty treacherous terrain. You wouldn't want to slip and take a tumble here, for sure. Pretty neat. All right, next snake of the day is this timber rattlesnake. We just hiked up on a rocky slope. And uh, it's just hanging out, probably a grabbed female. We're gonna leave her alone because we don't want to cause her any more stress during this uh, sensitive time for them. So we're gonna keep hiking. Timber rattlesnake number two of the day, another black phase. Good looking, probably gravid female again. Just hanging out here on this rocky ledge. So you can see above it. Lots of rocks right here. And uh, it just kind of came out of this hole, it looks like. And is basking in the uh, gloomy weather. Pretty neat, we're gonna keep our distance and uh, try not to disturb the snake while photographing it. And uh, then we're gonna keep hiking. All right, so we came to this cliff ledge, and as you can see here, there's this beautiful yellow phase female timber basking, like right on the edge of this huge cliff. It's really, really neat. Right over from this yellow phase is this black phase, also right on the edge here. Did you peek over to see if there's more? Yeah, I checked under here. So from a distance here, we've spotted this nice black phase. Are there two? No, it's stretched out now. Yeah, but we got this timber stretched out. It's definitely aware of us and going to move in a second, but um, from a distance, we're able to get a good look at it, at least. I was able to get a little closer to this timber. 
Check it out. Lots of black phases today. This one's just chilling here. I'm going to back off before we bother it though. And uh, we've seen two other rattlesnakes here get away. Um, I've been seeing a lot of them today, so uh, I'm going to back away and see if we see any others. All right, from a distance we've got black phase sitting up here on a rock and then right down here a yellow phase that is leaving. Pretty wary of us. These guys are both covered in mud or something. Must have been out under the rock during the most recent rain or something like that. All right, so as you may be able to tell, it is much darker out because a storm rolled in. It is, I guess, later in the evening as well. Um, things are getting pretty hectic here, and we are tired. We hiked, what, like probably 14 miles today at least. Um, and yeah, it was cool. We saw some timbers. We saw some other snakes, but uh, we are definitely tired at this point and are going to kick it so thank you for watching if you made it this far um if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and uh i'll catch you on the next one